Welcome back to an emergency pause posse. Scrap. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I've kidnapped Biddy and tied her in a chair. But, but much like Zatch Bell, I have been given one whole bluefin tuna to consume on my own. Yes, it is 35 kilograms. Uh, so, uh, what we're doing today is a different from what's normally on the channel, but I decided I'm gonna do a boss ranking, a Zelda boss ranking. Yeah, and who better to bring on than me, the person currently playing a Zelda game on the channel. Yep. So, um, the this is gonna be all the bosses, and when I say all, I mean all. Um, so, the first one on this list, it appears, so I, uh, I'm gonna lay down some rules. I'm only going to put one S rank per game. Mm -hmm. Just to make it a little, uh, a little bit more challenging. Well, challenging for you, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, challenging for me. Uh, so, first up, it looks like this, uh, this one has, like, all the, um, bosses from Link Between Worlds first. Don't know why, but, okay. Um... So first up is Dark Stare. Now Dark Stare is the uh, Link Between Worlds version t version of Cold Stare, and uh, plays pretty much the same. So I'm gonna put that as solid B. That makes sense. It looks cool, but it's just a rehash of an old boss. And speaking of a rehash of an old boss, uh, I've never played is Link Between Worlds so <laughs> is the Gem Sword King, which is a rehash of the. Uh, <clears throat> of the Helmosaur King. And, uh, again, it plays very similar. Uh, I'm just gonna put it at A rank, because I like its design. Uh, it's got a bunch of gemstones coming out of it, and, uh, when you hit it, it drops rupees. Ooh! Yeah. Now, Gramps. Very tempted... That's here, obviously. <laughs> very... T mm. I'm already having trouble, because this is another one I think deserves to be S here, so I'm gonna hold off on that until we get to it. Um, uh, Grinnet? I mean, just put him in A rank for now. Yeah, okay. Eh, I'll just leave him there. It's not gonna take long. Uh, Grinex is a rehash of, uh, Trinex, uh, but is kind of not nearly as good. Uh, this one is a new boss, the Knuckle Master. It's basically the Lord of the Wall Masters and Floor Masters. You know, those hands that come out and grab you to take you to the beginning of the dungeon. This one's actually yes. a really, really cool <laughs> boss and is one of the new bosses from uh, Link Between Worlds. So I'm putting it at A rank. The way you beat it is that you have to get it... You have to walk up to a wall and then merge as it's trying to punch you so that it punches the wall really hard. <laughs> it makes use of the game's central gimmick really well. Um, next up is uh, the Margo Mill. Um, this one's kind of fun. You, This is also a new one. What you do is you have to basically... Um, uh, use the 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 oh, wind training now. The, the wind rod to get on top of it and hit its eye. It's a solid B. It's it's the first boss, so I think it's a, a pretty good introduction hmm. boss. Moldurm D rank. Moldurm's done and tr done and done. Yeah, done and done. Uh, stall blind. This is the other one that I'm very tempted to put in S rank as well. Um, Stallblind is the low rule counterpart of Blind the Thief, and the way you do this one is you have to get... Basically, he has an impenetrable shield you can't break, however, it is a flat surface. So what you do is you merge with the shield, and then when he sees you're gone, he's like confused, he tries to look around for you, and then you unmerge and you're behind him, and then you attack him. <clears throat> I think it's a pretty good uh, boss. Uh, it's a good use of gimmick. It is. Uh, Think about it now, I'm going to put it at A rank and I'm going to make Gramps the S rank. He, he's the hero! He, he's. I firmly believe that he is the hero of legend. He's... He's... He's, he's World's Link. Or 
past Link. Or time, time Link. Uh, he's the hero of Legend, the hero from uh, Link to the Past, and uh, yeah. Link's Awakening, and the Oracle games. He is he is one of the top two. Con he there's all there's a lot of debates on whether or not he's stronger or the uh, hero of time is stronger, and I firmly believe that the hero of Legend is stronger than the hero of time. All right, Give me a uh, five paragraph reason. Yeah. Argus, that is just a straight up rehash of an old boss with no, nothing new. Straight up nothing new. It's boring. <clears throat> uh, Yuga, A rank. He's really fun. He has a cool design, um, and he's, he's smug, and I love that about yeah, him. Yeah, he's very smarmy. Uh, Yu Ganon, I'm gonna put it at B ranks. It's just a Ganon fight. Uh, it, there's not a whole lot new. The, the, uh, the, the final phase is kind of fun, but, uh, it's, uh, overall, eh. Uh, and then, uh, Zenganga, Zenganja? Zenganaga. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one's pretty cool. I believe, uh, Zanny Ganny. Let's yeah. Let's go with that. It's inspired, I think it's inspired by a Four Swords boss, but it's really fun. Basically, it comes out of the ground and you have to use the, um, you have to use the, uh, sand rod to run from platform to platform to try and hit it. I'm actually gonna put mm. it at B rank. And that is the, uh, Link Between Worlds bosses. Now it's time for the, um, Link to the Past bosses. Armos Knights! Hey! Armos Knights are the first boss, solid B. They're a great introduction to the uh, to the way that Link to the Past is. Um, basically, it's something like eight uh, knights that just hop around in a pattern, and you have to kill them yeah, either yeah, by yeah. sword or bow. <laughs> and then I'm, the I'm aware of these men, yes. Yeah, and then the last one just knights. Argus, I hate Argus. You know what? I'm gonna put you at C. I'm gonna put the rehash at D. Um, the Ball and Chain Knight. Uh, this one's more of a mini boss, in my opinion. It, it's just a knight with a ball and chain. So, uh -huh. putting it at D. Yeah, it's like that. That's something that you find smaller in the other dungeons. Yeah, it, it it's in the uh, it's in Hyrule Castle. But let's be honest. The real boss of Hyrule Castle is Agnim. Who I don't see on this list. What the fuck? Is Agnim not on- Did you make the list or did you find the list? I found the list. If I made the list, I wouldn't be using some of the weird art that makes it hard to tell which character it is. Uh, blind, solid S rank. Solid S rank. No questions. It's a bullet hell. Uh, it is really fun. If it can get out of control really fast, and also in Link to the Past, you meet Blind uh, when they're disguised as the maiden you're trying to rescue. So you escort them through the throughout the uh, the dungeon, and they um, uh, you escort them throughout the dungeon and trick them into walking to light, uh, revealing their true form because. You know, they have an aversion to light. Mm -hmm. Ganon. That was a really weird musical choice for them to put in. <laughs> I I just set it to random. Okay. Uh, it's I, just weird that it had, like, the waker music. Yeah. So, Ganon, a solid A. He's not the best Ganon, in my opinion, but he is one of the best. It's very close, but I like... It's a solid, I, it's a solid Ganon fight. Yeah, I like Blind a lot more. Uh, Helmosaur King, eh, it's the first boss of the, uh, of the, first boss of the, uh, Dark, Dark World, World, and it's pretty solid. Uh, it, it's definitely a step up from Moldorm, which is the previous, well, actually, Agony would be the previous boss you face, but... Moldorm was the previous dungeon boss. Uh, Agnim was... Okay, uh, because for some weird reason, Agnim's not on the list, where are we putting him? Where are we putting him spiritually? A. Right next to... He's, a rank? Yeah, he... He's Ganon. 
he he is Ganon. He's just, he's an avatar of Ganon. Yeah. Yeah. Cold stare. Uh, gonna put it at B. Uh, That's I, A. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna put it at B. Cold stare is a really good boss. Um. The you have to hit it with a fire rod in order to get rid of the ice that encases it, and that eats up magic. However, there is a way to do it better by using the Balmos medallion. You can get rid of the ice uh, that's covering it instantly. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, Moldarm D. Oh shit, D. Mold. Put 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 them next to the other Moldarm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to put them way over here. <laughs> they didn't even finish the da 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 bit. Da -na -na -na. This, is a, this is, is a bad, it bad, is a bad playlist. It is a bad playlist. I'm going to rearrange these a bit. Just to show which one I think is better. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, Mothula, solid A, very difficult boss fight. Where you, what it is, is you're on a moving, uh, the floor is moving in random directions, like it'll move in one direction and then it'll change directions, and the walls are covered in spikes that at, at the halfway point start moving around as well. It is a very difficult fight if you are prone to panicking. Alright. Uh, this boss, whose name I cannot remember. Uh, Cyboy. Huh? Cyboy. That's I Boy. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm putting a C. It's a. Mm, nah, D. It, it can't. It, it's not. It's not a real fun boss. Just hit him until the eyes come out and you hit the eyes. Yeah, yeah. And that is it for the uh, Link to the Past bosses. Now we're on to Phantom Hourglass. Mmm, uh, my brother played Phantom Hourglass, but I never have. So, uh, first one, Bellum. Actually, uh, Bellum is a really good boss. Um, Again, really weird picks in this play. I'm putting Bellum at her A rank. He's absolute asshole, and I love him. Um, actually, are there the other... Okay, good, the other Phantom Hourglass bosses are on here. They're just later down for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so, the Bellum Knight. A rank. I'm gonna put it next to Style Blind. The Bellum Knight is actually uh, Linebeck. Uh, Bellum possesses Linebeck and uh, turns him into an evil knight. Hmm. And you have to fight him. And Linebeck is... Linebeck has that moment where it's like, look, if you have to kill me, do it. <clears throat> now, the Cuba sisters. Uh, eh. I, I would put them at a C rank, except for one thing. They're the ones that gave the name Dead Man's Vault. Oh, wait, these aren't the Cuba sisters. These are the fire dudes. My mistake. Uh, solid C rank. Uh, hey. Yeah, that was close. Uh, yeah, they're that it's Blaze. Sorry, they look like the Cubist sisters. Uh, when it's cropped like that. But no, they're a fire boss. Uh, this one is a four swords boss. Um, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put the four swords. The original four swords didn't have a whole lot of. I've never played the original four swords. Uh, it, it didn't have a whole lot of bosses. Uh, and now we get into Breath of the... We're taking a detour to Breath of the Wild. Uh, all the Blights are D rank. I hate them because they're all the same. Okay. Uh, I, I don't like the Guardians. I don't like the Blights. They're kind of boring. Uh, Dark Beast Ganon is a cinematic boss, so I'll put it at D. 
Toga's fine. Yeah, fun. it's not really it's not really a fight you can lose other than if you get stepped on. Yeah. Koga's fun. I'm gonna put him at a solid A rank. He has a lot Koga's of personality. Koga's pretty fun. He has a Koga's lot of personality. Fun. Uh Calamity Ganon D rank. He's Uh you missed a boy. I know. I was saving that okay. one for the last. Because Maz Kosha, S rank, no question. He is what I was he's, looking for in a boss. He's the um the DLC. He's the trials guy, right? Yes, yes. He's the DLC boss. He is the Sheikah monk. That so first time I fought Maz Kosha, I was shitting bricks because his hand like after instead of giving a, a spirit orb, he get he, his hand like clenches. And you immediately feel the weight of it. Because they're not supposed to do that. Yeah, they're not really supposed to move. Yeah, and so that... That is... Also, he belongs in S because you can distract him with a banana. And that it's very too. funny. And there's a lot of interesting lore implications with that. That means that the obsession with bananas is not native to the Yiga, that is an ancient Sheikah practice that they maintained, that the modern Sheikah were forced to leave behind with their technology. Everybody loves a good banana. Yeah. Uh, the Street Pass Shadow Link, I'm gonna put it at C, C rank. I, I, I like it, but it's it's just a, it's not fun. Same with the uh, Shadow Links from the Four Swords Temple. Uh, from Again, Link I've, I've never Link played Four Swords. No, this so. one's from the Link to the Past Four Swords, the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. I've never played that one. Well, no, no, it's in Link to the Past, in the Palace of the Four Sword, which was an addition to the Link to the Past portion. So oh, I never went to the Palace of the Four Sword when I had my copy of... I, I did used to have the Link to the Past for Game Boy Advance. But you never went into I the Palace? It's the pyramid. Well, it's no, because I didn't have a link cable. Yeah. You can go into the lobby of the palace, but I think you need to beat Four Shorts to access the full thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have. I, I did used to have it on Game Boy Advance, but like I said, we never had a we never had a GBA link cable other than for the GameCube. So we never played multiplayer GBA games other than like the ones where you like both have to hold the controller. Yeah. Or the, the, the Game Boy. Now we're stepping into the Oracle games. Dig Dogger? Mm -hmm. I, I don't like Dig Dogger. I, I like him better than the Blights. Uh, Dodongo? It's an interesting twist on the Dodongo fight. Uh, w with the Dodongo fight, you can't just give feed him bombs you also have to pick him up and throw him into spikes so that's an interesting yeah, that's fun that's it's fun interesting uh this one i believe is uh this one i believe is an oracle of ages boss not oracle of seasons so i'm going to put it here it's kind of a forgettable boss uh, it, it's an annoying boss it's the it's the kind where you have to fight you have to kill all the all the small ones, uh, or else they just keep infinitely respawning, I think. Uh, you have to kill them all in one swoop. Uh, four yeah, yeah. swords, the four swords manhandler. I don't really like the four swords manhandler. Uh, but I will say, the I little. He's got some good music. Oh, yeah. Uh, the funky little slug. S rank. Funky little slug. Yeah. S rank. Just for his design. I, I don't care about anything else but his design. Uh, let's see. I believe this is the Four Swords uh, Moldorm. The Four Swords Adventures Moldorm. Uh, Four Swords Adventures. Uh, uh. Big Poe. Shit, what is this name? Jalhalla. S rank. It's the only boss that we didn't really have a whole lot of trouble with. Yeah. He was an okay one. Uh, where would you put the ice one? I don't know. To be honest, a 
decent amount of the Four Swords Adventures bosses were pretty forgettable. This is the one where you had to, like... I... I God, they are forgettable. I think that, that we had to, like, detach it from the ceiling and then just wail on it, which was kind of gross. I'd say B. Oh, right. That one was... That one was okay. Ganon. I think Four Swords has one of the worst Ganons. Four Swords Adventure Ganon blows. Yeah. The Helmarok King... God, that... Fu that... F that... That fucking... Well, what? no. It, what is... Uh, I don't think that was the Ganon one. That was the Phantom Ganon fight that... Uh, yeah. The Helmosaur King, I think we had we were pretty okay with the Helmosaur King. Yeah, Helmosaur King was okay. Yeah, we had to get to the smash into the rocks. That mm -hmm. was fun. Actually, I think I'll put it at A. That was actually really fun. Vance Cannon. D rank. I would put it below D if I could. I I think you can make I know, a, I, an F tier. Yeah, I think I'll make an F tier. Uh <laughs> Add a row below. Yep. Uh, Make it red. Uh, well, no, S rank is red. Make it black. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna move... I'm gonna do a bit of rearranging. I, um, I don't... Moldurm's not an F rank. Mm. Well, at All least... Right. At least... At least Link to the Past one can can be in there. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll agree to that. But the Blights! He's the, he's the original boy. Is he? The Blights, I, I still think that they were okay. I, well, I don't like them because I feel like they're indicative of one of the major problems with, uh, with, um, Breath of the Wild. And that is that in making an open world game, they had to sacrifice the variety of dungeons, and so all the dungeons yeah. felt the same, along with the bosses. Yeah, you, you can't really have a nice, pro nice Zelda-y progression of dungeons if you can literally go to any of them at any time. Well, you can, and it's been done in Link Between Worlds. Uh, in Link Between Worlds, you could go through the dudes. You you could go through the thing uh, through the uh, Dark World dungeons in more or less any order you want, but uh, but and the way they handled the progression was they had a set number of cutscenes that they had cutscenes that uh, take place every two dungeons where you get to like the um, Hilda like monologuing to herself, uh, and then each dungeon you do increases the HP and dam the HP and the damage output uh, of all the other bosses so that they okay, do that's good. yeah so they do scale scale with them you. up scale them up yeah um let's see uh stone argus this was a forgettable one from four swords adventures uh yeah i'm going to put it at d rank it better than it, it was, that's a that or, is yeah f, f rank sorry f f rank Uh, lots of eyeball bosses. Zelda loves eyeballs. Yeah. Body. It's a, it's a nice, big, obvious target. Yeah. So, uh, Vati. His glowy eye, he uses that to see? Uh, <laughs> I think Vati Va was... Vati was a pretty okay fight. Yeah. Uh, Four Swords Vati. Variety. Four Swords Vati... Well, also, actually, mm -hmm. damn it! I kind of wish I didn't put the Slug Boy up there. I actually do <laughs> like Vani more, but also, look at the fucking design. Okay, I'll, I, I, I'll. Is uh, that a mouth? Is that a mouth there? It's a little. It, yeah, it's he's got like a Zoidberg mouth. Ah. Yeah. Keep him in there. He so, deserves it. Yeah. He's just a little guy who's big. All right. So the uh, Phantom Hourglass Gleok. I had a lot of fun with it. The, what you do is you basically you have to use the grappling hook to create a uh, essentially a slingshot to fire its shit back, which is a really cool thing. Gross. Mazal, you recently fought this boss. Where would you put it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. He's. Uh... Or not Mazal. Godan. 
Sorry, so Dan, um, I would say he's a solid. He's a solid uh, B. B. High B, pretty high B, but I I wouldn't put him in A rank. Uh, all right, I'll put him uh, right there. Uh, I'm putting him in B and not A because it's a little derivative. Well, yeah, it's it's like that type of boss has been done so many times, even within Zelda. So much yeah, so he's... that I accidentally called him by another name of an by the name of another boss that does the same exact thing. And then there's the other boss that does the exact same thing, Bongo Bongo. Yeah. All right. Uh, I do like that. I do like that because he is a trial and not like an evil creature. Yeah. If you do run out of arrows, he will give you some. Yeah, and also when you beat him, he does not explode. Yeah, he don't explode. You just, you've just like gone through his like bits, and you're and he's like, all right, you're good. One of my uh, so worthy. The, there's this, the, there's a Wind Waker bridge that does a really funny joke where he's like, uh, he's like, all right, you need to prepare for you are going to face a gray, eh, rash you. And he uh, sneezes out the heart, and Link's just like, oh sweet, the heart, that means I win. Uh, he's like, wait, no, you still need to do the trial. Yeah. And he's like, bye. <laughs> he's like, oh, I am so fired. Oop, and then oh I boy. Oop, smash. Oop. Oof. oof, oof, oof. And then a smash. Lagging. Lagging hard. Ooh. Alright, how about now? Ooh, okay, there it goes. It's it's fine now. Yeah. So he's oh like, boy. uh, oh no, I am so fired. Smash cuts at the king of red lines. Be like, he is so fired. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts a heart in their nose? Put it in a much more respectable place. Like an eye. <laughs> God, I fucking love Zelda Bridge series. They were so fun. Mm. Uh, so, uh, Oracle of Seasons Goma. I really like mm. the Goma, but this one is kind of a boring one. I'm gonna put it as C tier. It's not the worst, Random but it's also music. not the best. Uh, speaking of Goma. Slightly better Goma. I'm gonna put a, a very solid first boss, Wind Waker Goma. Yeah, he's a pretty he's a pretty solid boss. Yeah, pretty not not too hard. Uh, but if you get stuck with the camera like I did, you yeah, you will get burned. The cause of so many sweaty asses. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Thwomp Head, the first boss of uh, is it the first? No, I think it's the. Now, second boss of Oracle of Ages. Uh, very interesting and very difficult if you're bad at timing. What you gotta do... So his face changes. Uh, he has four faces that he shifts uh, through. And you have to get the... Uh, you have to throw a bomb into the flower on his head on a specific face. On the red face. Uh, and so... But you, when you throw the bomb in, his he spins like a roulette wheel... And, uh, so you have to, like, time it, like, oh, the, it's, I have to do it this time, so that by the time he stops spinning, it'll be in the red. So I'm gonna say a solid A. He is a very difficult boss, but very fun. Uh, the Angler, F tier. The Angler is the worst boss of Link's Awakening. You can kill it before it even uh, before it even does anything. Uh, it's uh, better in the uh, th in the remake because they make him a lot faster and more aggressive, so he's able to actually get some attacks in. And it is an improvement, but it's not much of an improvement. I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. All right. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna be a few minutes, so... Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. Uh... God, I hate the angler so much. Yes. So, um... Yeah, the... Scraps currently is in, uh... A camping trip. So that is why Scraps is not here, and that is why there's not any uh, 
Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pokemon this week. Or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I think this one's going to be in place with Nuts and Bolts. But yeah. What song is this? What am I listening to? This is such a weird song. I think that... I think I'm pretty good with my S tier. I like blind. I'm a big fan of bullet hells. I, I love bullet hells. Let's see. Looking ahead. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, it's pretty much every boss. Uh, I think I should probably put all the uh, bosses from. So I haven't played Triforce Heroes, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the Triforce Heroes bosses in the category of having never played. So I'm gonna pull up its. Uh, gonna pull up its bosses. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you I haven't played. I haven't played. I haven't played. Have not played. Have not played. Have not played. Uh. Have not played. Have not. And there we go. I think that's all the Triforce Heroes bosses. Yeah. Oh, there's the Aghanim! Why the hell is he at the bottom? Oh! Oh, it. For some reason. Oh, God. Who the hell made this? Alright, I'll I'll put Agnum there when Biddy gets back. Um but yeah. Oh god. I'm having trouble thinking of what should be the final boss of or not the final boss, the S rank boss of Link's Awakening. There's a lot of good bosses in Link's Awakening. What the fuck is this boss? Probably some kind of molderm. Now, why did they choose the weirdest, like, why not just put the sprites for some of these? I'm gonna actually try to find out what boss that is. Oh wait, no, maybe that's the uh, the sandworm from Link's Awakening. What is it called? Glenmola. Oh yeah, that is Landmola. Okay, so yeah, that one is Landmola from Link to the Past. I really wish that they organized this based on the, uh... Oh, yeah. I wish they'd, like, had it All right, a I'm bit back. organized. Hey, uh, turns out Agnum is on the list. He was just at the very bottom. Hey. I'm gonna put him... Weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna put him by, uh, Ganon real quick. Uh, so, right. the Nightmare... I'm gonna be a fucking Fosse recording without me getting called in my room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Nightmare... Final boss of Link's Awakening, a solid A. Uh, 
he he goes through the various uh goes through various phases uh all of which are drawn from Link's uh fights that Link's uh done in the past uh you know like Agnim and Ganon and a fucking Moldurm mm -hmm. oh and this is a little bit loud I'm gonna turn it down a bit there we go uh so uh, next up is the Evil Eagle, which oh is- Oh my god. Another phone call? Seriously? Are you gonna have to step out of your room? Well, we're like, probably halfway done. Uh... Oh god, they have the they have the imprisoned fights listed as separate fights. But they don't have gear him listed as separate fights. I think the imprisoned would probably be a lot better if it was a single three phase fight than if it was a then All right, I don't have to leave my room for that. Okay, that's good. So, Evil Eagle uh, another boss, um, I'm gonna put it as solid, uh, another boss from Link to the Past, I'm gonna put it as solid C tier. It's, it's an annoying fight if you don't know what to do, and an absurdly easy fight if you do know what to do. I, I, I see that while I was gone you put some bosses into the never played section. Yeah, those are the bosses from Triforce Heroes. I have not played Triforce Heroes. That is, oh, right. Okay, that's neither the, have I. It's the one Zelda game that I've not played. The Evil Eagle is... Um, he, uh, he's one of those bosses that is more annoying than difficult. Um, he, he likes those. He creates a gust of wind that will push you off of the, uh, thing, and you'll have to climb a ladder to get back up, which resets the fight. Mm. And, uh, the trick is you gotta use the shield and the hook shot. Uh, the shield blocks his feathers, which hurt you and push you back. And the hook shot just damages him uh, at a range. So he's an easy boss if you know what to do. Facade. D. No, F. Facade is an absurdly easy boss. Uh, you just gotta blow up the face. And he's so easy that his later uh his later incarnation is relegated to a mini boss Ugh. yeah now that you, you, you know it's never good when a boss from another game becomes a mini boss yeah now the genie b tier very very uh good and difficult uh if because it's at a time where you don't have a whole lot of hearts so it is this is in most playthroughs of Link to the Past, uh, the genie is where I die for the first time. Um, because he's, uh... He's very quick and, uh... And... Is, the uh, I would die for the first time very early on because I'm not good at video games. Yeah. I haven't died in Wind Waker yet, which is surprising me. You haven't? I don't think I have. I got, uh beat up and had to use a fairy once but i didn't right die. right so hothead another f tier eh no i'll make it d tier it's absurdly easy uh not as easy as the anglerfish but you just gotta smash it with the uh or you just gotta keep hitting it with the uh magic rod uh, you just gotta keep shooting magic at it mm. and that's it uh dodge a couple fireballs but yeah, he's a he, he's you know what? actually I am gonna put him at F tier because he's the penultimate boss. He's the boss you face before Nightmare. He's the boss of the last the dungeon before the egg, and he's very it's a very disappointing boss to an otherwise great dungeon. Yeah, you, you never want the penultimate boss to be piss easy. And that's actually one of the issues that Link's Awakening has is that there's a lot of bosses which are not good at the end of otherwise fantastic dungeons. 
Now, color dungeon. The color dungeon boss is pretty fun. I like the color dungeon boss. Oh, it's a big choo choo. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, everybody I, loves the big choo choo. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move Nightmare to S rank. All right, all right. Then Moldurm. Just, just Moldurm. It's Moldurm again. Actually, you know, no, you know what? Uh. I'm gonna put it at D tier because it, it, it talks. It's a Moldrum that talks after you beat it. That's cool. All right. Does he then die yes. after he talks? He basically says, You don't know what you're doing and you need to stop and then die. Like, stop! Huh? You don't know what you're doing. You're gonna wake up the guy. We're all gonna die. Yeah, it, it's pretty much that. Basically, he gives the first hint at the, the mid game twist. Um, so, uh, this one, Lenmola, uh, I had to actually look up the art for this one. I'm gonna say C tier. Nah, D tier. It's, uh, All right. eh, not C tier. It, it gets to be a bit of a bullet hell later on. Not as, not like, I, I, I like, I'm saying that as a compliment. The fact that it does get to be a bit of a bullet hell later on is what elevates it from a D tier to a C tier. Uh, this boss um, is from the color dungeon. Uh, gonna honestly put it at a F tier. Honestly, it, it's a it's a mini boss, yeah. and same with this one. They're both mini bosses. Uh, like, I mean, technically, I guess they're bosses, but they're they're mini bosses. Uh, the 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 eel, whose name I don't remember. Uh, put a B tier. It's it's man. yeah, very easy to cheese. Um, if it, it's very easy to cheese if you have patience. But also, if you don't have the patience, uh, it's very difficult, which I think is uh, pretty good. Uh, it, it's pretty good. Um, let's see. These ones... I... Don't... Are they four swords bosses? Hold up. Them? I do not know. I'm going to look up what these bosses are. Uh, because I, I I do. N oh wait, no, it's the slime. It's the slime. I didn't recognize it because it was split into two. I'll say C tier. It's the slime right. from Link's Awakening. Uh, huh? what they do, what you gotta do is you gotta basically split it in half. Uh, I I don't like the the remake of Link's Awakening. Uh, version of it, but, uh, yeah. So, Majora. I'm gonna put all the Majoras in the same thing, because they're one boss. Uh, B rank. Now, here's the thing about Majora. I have played Majora's Mask. But the thing is, is that I played it on that, um... The GameCube? That GameCube yeah, yeah, the GameCube Yeah, the, the anniversary one. edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing about that. So, uh, my brother and I were playing that, and, uh... Uh, around the time that we got to, uh, the... The, uh, the, the, the Zora dungeon. Yeah, the Great Bay Temple. Yeah, the Great Bay Temple. Uh... Our controllers were pretty old at the time. Oh no. They were getting a little on in the years. Oh no. So uh You never beat the it? Right the right trigger did stop working, which meant we no could no swimming. longer attack. Oh we could no longer attack and fight the eels. Ah, oh, that's we couldn't we couldn't we couldn't attack the eels, so we couldn't make it any further. And oh. then I then I let my friend borrow the the disc because she and he was, never uh, got it back. Big, Real big Zelda fan, and yeah, never got a pack. All right, but it's fine. It's whatever. 
All right. She's a cool friend. I I still talk to her sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Manhandla. I don't like Manhandla. Shout out to uh, Bun with a Bow on Twitch. <laughs> uh, Medusa Head was a new boss uh, in the because uh, Oracle of Seasons re they used the bosses from the original Zelda uh, with mm -hmm. uh, new mechanics. Uh, Medusa Head is an entirely new boss, but also doesn't bring a whole lot to the table. Mm. Now, Goat. Obviously, S rank. Uh, which one's he from? Uh, Majora's Mask. He's the... Oh, right. Yeah, the one you spin around, uh, the, the Goron boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S rank, obviously. The Goat is one of the funnest bosses ever. I'm actually gonna put him pretty high. Above Slug Boy. Above, yeah. Above Blind. Yeah. Uh. So actually, uh. I'm gonna speaking of rearranging stuff. I'm gonna. Majora, pretty high B. Yeah. No, not there. I'll save a different body for that. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, Magikarp. <laughs> uh, Magikarp. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Georg, that's what his name is. Uh, F rank. Easily the worst boss. Mm. Uh, is that the, the fishy Majora yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the one that I could, the one I couldn't beat. Yeah, Adwala, solid B. A first, a lot of the first bosses are solid Bs, and I honestly can't blame them because they, a lot of them are really good introductions to, like, they they serve their purpose as a first boss really well. Mm. Uh, now, Twin Mold, A rank, just being a giant and just demolishing them is so satisfying. I, I really mm. like... I, I, I've... Uh, I, I think Twin Mold is fun because of the gimmick. Like... Mm, actually, I'm put... Mm, you know what? No. B and you get to be A. Yeah, okay. Twin Mold is fun being a giant, but like doesn't really fit with the temple thinking about now and uh Okay, Mulgara. I don't like Mulgara. Just a fancy Molderm. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna put it higher because it's actually why the fuck are you there? Okay. Uh it's the best of the F tier because of its music. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Mothala from, uh, uh, Oracle of Seasons. Uh, I'm gonna put it at D rank because it's got a, uh, it's, it's not, it, it's not as good as the Mothala from Link to the Past. Um, the Big Octorok from Oracle of Seasons. This was a really fun boss. You gotta, uh, you gotta, like, Swim and dive to hit it, and uh, I think it's a solid B. All right, all right. Yeah, General Onox, the villain. I the villain of Oracle of Seasons. I think he could have been better. We don't. He, he's not as present as Varen is. I'm gonna say C. He's a good now, fight. I, I do remember playing Oracle of Seasons and seeing him standing around in some of the maps, like ooh. Yeah, that's all he does, though. It's like, ooh, look, he's menacing. Yeah. Uh, Ganon. Well, technically not Ganon, but basically. So, technically, this is the failed resurrection Ganon. He's... He's fine. He's like a Zambi. Yeah, he, he, he serves his purpose well, but... Actually, I'm gonna put him here. He's uh, just mindless evil. Yeah, he, he's just... Ganon for the sake of Ganon. He has no goals, just destruction. Yeah. Alright. Now, Possessed Nehru. 
really fun boss. Very interesting. The way Possessed Nehru works is you gotta hit her with the Mystery Seed, and then use the uh, uh, switch hook to basically rip out Varen from her, and uh, uh, and attack Varen. It's a very interesting boss, and a really cool mechanic. So I'm gonna put you. As you can see, the bosses that I put at A rank are the ones that, for the most part, have interesting gimmicks to their fight. Well, interesting gimmicks make for a fun fight. Yeah, it's much better than just swing the sword. Uh, the pumpkin head. You put a C tier. It's a first boss, but it doesn't really. It, it's just it's just there. It, He's a fight. Yeah. Now, uh, the um. Uh, smog, that is a solid A. Uh, this one's a puzzle. That's B. That's B. That's B. Yes. This one is a puzzle. Another gimmick fight. I'll put a, a put him. I'll put him above the Helmrock King. So, uh, so smog, what you have to do is you have to use the uh, the cane of Samaria to create blocks. Because uh, smog splits into, like, multiple smaller smogs and just, uh -huh. like, and basically follow the border of, uh, of the blocks that are in the room. And what you got to do is you have to use a can of Samaria to create a block for it to, like, move on to and try to get all the smaller ones to merge into the bigger one before you can attack it. So it's a puzzle. Um, and a lot of the Oracle of Ages bosses are puzzles, um, which I really like. Uh, Aquamentis from Oracle of Seasons. Uh, solid A rank. This is the first, this is a first boss. Uh, and I do think it's a really solid A rank. Um, it's just straight up Aquamentis from, uh, uh, from the original Legend from of Zelda, Zelda, but it looks so cool, and I, I like his design, and, um, yeah. Uh, Baronade from, uh, Jabba Jabba's Belly, and D tier. I, 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 I really don't care for it. Ocarina of Time? I, yeah, Ocarina of Time. What'd I say? Uh, you didn't say the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just, just said Jabu Jabu's Belly. Yeah, it, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I've played Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Bongo Bongo. Put it next to Mazal. Oh. Or, god damn it, putting it next to Godan. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, spoilers, I'm gonna put Mazal right there as well. Where the fuck is he? Here he is. I don't know, look for two disconnected hands. Yeah. Putting Mazal there as well. Mazal was uh, Minish Cap, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put him at the top because out of the out of all of them, he does have the better gimmick. Because you also you have to shrink inside of him to uh, destroy his uh, processors. Yeah. So, Fuck, it's been a it has been a little bit since I played Minish Cap too. All right, so you should play that on the sh you should play that on the channel sometime. I mean, I used to play the uh, uh, I used to play the randomizer. That's right. You didn't you make yourself a custom sprite for it? Uh, no, I made a custom sprite for uh, Link to the Past. That's right. Uh, there, Minish Cap was a lot would be too hard. Yeah, Minish Cap. Uh, to make a custom sprite, you the sprite sheet has like over five hundred frames that would ah. need to be edited. Um, or five hundred assets that would need to be added. Ganon. Ocarina of Time Ganon. Ganon. Big pig boy. He's very atmospheric. I'm going to say a solid A. Because the S rank, Ganondorf. I, I like the fight against Ganondorf a lot better than Ganon. Because, yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, Ganon is atmospheric, but Ganondorf has so much personality to him. Goma. 
Uh, solid B tier. Uh, it's a good first boss. You can good beat her boss. really easily, but she does kill a god. She she does kill a god, which I can respect. Yeah. Uh, Dodongo, B <laughs> tier. I, I don't care for Dodongo. It's it, it's a fight. It's just a fight. There's nothing really interesting about it. Uh, Morpha. Fucking F tier. Such a piss boss. Now, Phantom Ganon. Phantom. This one is a good Phantom Ganon. Alright, I'm gonna put him right next to regular Ganon. Actually, you know. Mm. He's got more. He's got better gimmicks than regular Ganon. Uh, than Ganondorf, but, uh. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna put Ganon, uh, Phantom Ganon. All right, all right, Cause, all right. Cause it's it's the Ganondorf fight, but with more stuff. Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, gonna put him above Slug Boy. No, fuck it. I, I like Slug Boy, but uh, yeah. Twin Rova. The Twin Rova sisters. Solid S tier. A or A tier, A tier. A -tier. Uh, yeah, I, solid A tier. Love a good twin boss fight. Oh yeah. Uh, whack a mole. Yeah, a B tier. What? Yeah, it's a whack a mole fight. You, you so uh, Volvagia. What he does is he comes out of he like he comes out of the holes in the ground and you have to smash him with the megaton hammer. It's really fun. But he is at the end of the worst dungeon, which is. Which is like I like the boss fight, but I don't like the fire temple, so I'm putting it at B tier. Mm. Now, Leoc from uh, Oracle of Seasons, uh, solid S tier, because once you fight him, once you defeat the two heads, and he dies, his torso becomes a skeletal corpse, and then that starts charging a, a headless. Uh, a headless bone dragon charges around the room, causes earthquakes, all the while uh, the skulls are flying, shooting fireballs. It is really fun. And I believe he is the uh, the boss of the final dungeon of uh, of uh, before, you know, the final, final dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, Phantom Hourglass, or is this a uh, Spirit Tracks? I think this is Phantom Hourglass. Uh, this one is... You know what? I'm gonna say this one's an A tier, because its gimmick makes use of the top screen. Uh, what it is, is it goes invisible, and uh, it goes invisible, and the top screen becomes its perspective, so you have to fire the bow at basically... You can see Link standing around in the third person on the top screen. You have to swerve around, like turn around until you're aiming your bow at right at the camera. And I think that is a really cool gimmick. That, that Hour... does sound pretty neat. Phantom Hourglass has a lot of solid bosses. The Cubist Sisters. Now this one is going to be the this is the one I was going to put at S rank for Phantom Hourglass because they're the ones that turn Tetra to stone. They're the ones that name it Dead Man's Volley. They're the reason we have a name for uh that uh, for, for energy tennis. Yeah, it's Dead Man's Volley. Uh Cycloc and F tier. You just it's gimmick is you gotta put the uh you, you just gotta throw bombs in the tornado to send them up at it. Uh. It's boring. Now, Durongongongo. That's an A tier. This one, you're not fighting him alone. You have a Goron kid with you. Uh and you have to control both Link and the Goron kid to take it down. Really fun boss. And uh Eox, I like it. I like the dungeon, but I don't think it's... It, it's just it's just below an A.
it is just below an A rank, in my opinion. Uh, now this one, uh, this one is Oracle of Ages. Don't remember the name, but what you gotta do is you have to, uh, you have to use a switch hook to swap places with its energy ball, which I think is really cool. But definitely a solid B. Uh, it's a fight that, uh, it's the fight that trains you for the possessed, uh, for the possessed Nehru fight. All right, all right. So, so it's a good boss for learning shit. Uh, Puppet Ganon. Yeah, B. Puppet Ganon. I, I, I don't. I, 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 I'm indifferent to Puppet Ganon. Definitely a solid B. I, I do think Puppet. that it's cool that the fight lasts uh, multiple phases, and by the time it's done, Link is like too exhausted to do the dance he does whenever he beats a boss. I do think that's funny, but uh, I, I I don't think that there's really anything that can bring it to A rank. Sorry, I'm not catching any of this. You're lagging really hard again. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it above Armos Knights, actually. Ramrock, oh. the bot. The Ganon was is okay. Yeah, Ramrock definitely putting at uh putting it above. Putting it above Moskosha. Ramrock is the boss of... It is the penultimate boss from Oracle of Ages. And it is... I, I, I think it has like five phases. And each one uses a different combination of weapons. And it is such a fun boss. It is a test of everything you have learned in the game up to this point. So he, he is a really good... Like... Final dun uh fine because he's not the he's not the final final boss but uh, penultimate boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Shadow Hag. This one's a solid A. Uh, I I like the Shadow Hag. Uh, what she does is she basically uh she basically like spawns behind Link uh using his shadow. And uh, if you turn around to see her, she du ducks back into the shadow so you can't hit her. The way to beat her is you have to fire the uh, seed shooter at the wall so it ricochets and hits her. Mm. And so I think that's a really interesting boss. Again, an A rank boss whose main thing is a gimmick. <laughs> uh, oh god, Levias. Skyward Sword. It, it's a Skyward Sword boss. It's disappointing. You know what? Fuck it. Demise is gonna be D tier. Demise is a... It's a Ganon fight. No, it's not even that. It's absurdly easy. It is way too easy. And it's, very, it's too easy and it's too straightforward. Now, gear him. I like gear him as a character. I don't care for his boss. Mm. Eh. I don't care for his boss fights because he has three, and there's not much difference between them. But I do like him as a character. So solid B. Now Kalakdos, obviously, the S rank. Kalakdos yeah. is the S rank of. Uh, Skyward Sword, because I've gone on about why I like Kalakto so much. Uh, Levias, what the fuck? He's right. Th these two bosses are literally the same. This boss, these tendrils coming off of him are just extensions of this boss. I don't know why they have them separate. I'm gonna put them above the, uh, uh, put them there, though, because it is. It, it is fine. Uh, this one, uh, this one's, this one's a mini boss. Boss of the mini. Yeah, and also that one was kind of just meh. That Fucking... one was. Yeah, Tintalis was a huge disappointment. Uh, I'm gonna put it next to Georg, the other disappointment. Tintalis looks like something out of Monsters Inc. I th and yeah. it, it's yeah. it is a mediocre boss at the end of a 
really fantastic dungeon. And that is what disappoints me the most. The fact that he is at the end of a fantastic dungeon. Now the imprisoned. If the imprisoned was one three if the imprisoned was a single three phase fight, then that would be a solid A tier. But being like three different fights, uh that brings it down to a C. C for all? Yeah, C for all. I I'm if it was one single boss fight with just three phases, yeah, it'd be an A or it'd be a solid A. Maybe even S, actually. Uh but no. But unfortunately it's three different fights at three different points in time. Yeah. Burn. Burn. Phantom Hour or er, Spirit Tracks. S rank. He goes through a redemption arc. Alright. And I am a slut for redemption arcs. And Cole. That you are. Cole from a. Uh, Cole from Phantom Hourglass, solid A rank. He's a funky little leprechaun demon, and he has hey, so much. Hey, love that. The Ghost Train, solid A rank. You have to. Actually, I'm gonna put it pretty high. I love the Ghost Train. It is a really cool gimmick boss. It's a train that is a ghost. Or it's a train that's a demon. The the demon train. Uh. Yeah, it's a it's really cool because it takes up two tracks. Per it, it, it's so big that it has to take up two tracks, whereas mm -hmm. you're only stuck on one, and you have to you basically have to manage your pathway around the uh, the dark realm as you're being chased by this. And it is a very very it's a really good boss fight. Uh, let's see. Uh, That's just a big rat. Yeah, France. Uh, it's hot and cold. It's it's a gimmick, but not a fun gimmick. It's it's eh, yeah, eh, nah, eh, yeah. There, mid C tier. Kragma, solid. Kragma, solid. Uh, it's really Which good. From he from again? Phantom Hourglass, or not sp uh, Spirit Tracks. He's from Spirit Tracks. Uh, what you he gotta has do? Zelda. Yeah, you gotta ride the minecart uh, up it and hit Spirit it. Spirit Tracks is Spirit Tracks is the one with the pan flute, right? Yes. Uh, okay, my brother had that one. All right, yeah. He had both, and I think he lost Phantom Hourglass. Ah, uh, rip. Uh, the yeah, the uh, Kragma is a really good one. Um, uh. You have to ride a minecart and uh, get its weak points. Uh, so it's a very vertical boss, and it it does a good job of making use of both screens. That's fun. Yeah, Maladus. Ah, oh, God. I I I don't. It's just care. a big head. It's just a big head. Well, he uh, possesses coal, and uh, it, it's it's just a Ganon fight. Okay. Uh, it was more fun than Demise. He's a like Demise. He's a Demon King. He's basically Diet Demise, but somehow, but s somewhat better. Um, Pie Tops or Pie Tops, Pie Tops or Pie Tops. I don't fucking know. Um. But this one is it's not it, it's it's a disappointment. You, you basically gotta clear away the gunk on its head to expose its eye and attack the eye. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Now, Skeldritch. Skeldritch is a really good boss. It's a, it's a skull that's on a spine. It, it's, it's a skull that's on a spine that, uh, that's armored. So you have to get it. You basically have to launch the shit from the, from behind. And, uh, in order to get rid of its spine. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it a B tier, because it's a rehash of another boss. Oh my god, I'm getting another phone call. Oh god. Uh, I think that Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass have some really solid bosses. And it, it sucks that they're often, uh, overlooked by the fandom, because they were on the DS, which is absurd to me, 
because the DS was the best-selling uh, Nintendo console until the Switch came out. Like, the DS was fantastic. It has a lot of solid games, so I don't know why people disregard the, uh, um, disregard the stuff. It's just, so, it's just absurd to me. Um, yeah, the, the, the rankings thus far. For S rank, at the top, we have, uh, we have cramps. Okay, I was just gonna go through the rankings of what we okay. have so far. Um, so, uh, next up is, uh, uh, this beetle. It's a first boss, it's kinda mediocre. Uh, it's got, uh, it's weak point is it's ass, and you just gotta run around and hit it. Have we come across any Twilight Princess bosses yet? They're at the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, this thing's not organized well in the slightest. Not uh, really. Now we're getting into Zelda 2. Hey. Uh, I think this is the uh, uh, the dragon that was supposed to be Volvagia before. It's like Bulgura or something. Uh, yeah, he's the dragon that pokes his head up from the floor. He's a funky little dude. Solid B. I like Solid the Zelda B. 2 B bosses. The Wizrobe. D tier. It, you just gotta reflect the shit back at him. Uh, yeah. the... I don't know what boss this is, because the artwork is hard to tell. Uh, let me actually look up the Zelda 2 bosses. I... Oh, it's Guma. Guma's a... Guma. This looks nothing like Guma. Uh, Guma sprite, but... Guma as a boss, he's a... He's another funky little dude. Or, funky big dude. Horse head... Uh, Horsehead, first boss, really solid first boss, pretty difficult. Uh, this one, this is the knight, uh, that ends up, this one's, eh, it's just a knight. And I'll say this one, the knight on the horse is just that knight, but on a horse. Eh, I'll say better than evil eagle. Link's Shadow. Uh, Link's Shadow. If you fight it legit, very solid. If you fight it legit, absolutely very difficult, very solid. And if you cheese it... It's a trial. It's a trial. Yeah, it's a trial. He's uh, he's one of the few Shadow Links that aren't evil. Now the Thunderbird. That is an S tier. The Thunderbird is also a trial and is extremely difficult. And it's there's not a whole lot that you can do to cheese it. It, it becomes a bullet hell very fast. Um, and it, it's overall a really good boss. Um, next up is Zelda 1 bosses. Aquamentis. A, a solid boss. I'm gonna put it next to the other Aquamentus. I I just really love Aquamentus. He's a really he's a he's a dragon with a unicorn horn. Yeah. Next up is Dig Dogger. Uh, can I just put it next to the other Dig Dogger? It's it's just eh. Dodongo. Dodongo's dislike spoke. This is the OG. Uh. This is the OG. So, I'm going to put it there next to the Shadow Hag. Yeah, we can't go based, based purely on just how good of a boss fight it is, because it is the first Zelda. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ganon. This is Ganon at his strongest, in my opinion. Like, this is Ganon at his strongest and his smartest. He takes, the me he takes measures to... Um, uh, he, he takes the measures to... Uh, ensure, like he keeps the the silver arrows in his uh, in his own palace to uh, make sure Link doesn't get them. He goes through the effort of, uh, you know, um, yeah, yeah, uh, of making sure that the curse of darkness is much stronger 
than the uh, than it was in Link to the Past. And more importantly, he actually uses a Triforce piece in the fight, unlike in Link to the Past. This is a Ganon yeah. that has learned from his mistakes and has taken measures to mitigate them. This is Ganon at his strongest and his smartest, as far as we know. He also turns invisible. Well, he does that in the in Link to the Past as well. I. I haven't beaten Link to the Past. Oh, in Link to the Past, he uses the Curse of Darkness, but it can be uh, it, it can be beaten by using the lantern to light the torches. But in uh, Zelda One, he uses the Triforce of Power to enhance the Curse of Darkness. So the only way to beat it is with the Triforce of Wisdom. So he he takes measures. Uh, Gleok, a really really good boss. I love Gleok. Really good Zelda one boss, yeah. yeah. Goma, solid B. Goma, solid B. Goma B. Goma. Uh, Manhandla. I fucking hate Manhandla. Uh, I I hate. Yeah. I hate Manhandla so much, especially in Hyrule Warriors. Mm. But just in general, I don't like Manhandla. All right, Minish so cap. yeah, Minish Cap, the cap of the Minish. Uh, so the Ice Palace, I'm going to say this one's a solid A. The, the giant, uh, or the Octorok is a really good boss. It's got an interesting gimmick. You got to light it on fire to melt the place. Uh, and it's a nice step up from the previous giant boss, which was the, uh, uh, the Chew Jelly, which is a solid first boss. I'll put it here. Solid B rank. Solid B rank. He's big. Yeah. You're small. It, it's a nice. He's got funny eyes. Yeah, and it's a nice twist on a uh, on a boss that you've encountered like so much. Uh. Yeah. It's, and the the thing about it is that if I'm remembering rightly, it's just a normal choo choo. Yeah, honestly. yeah. It it, it is. It's a... just a normal choo choo. You're just small. Exactly. So that's a that's a nice. That is a really good introduction of just how interesting the gimmick is. Now for this one, uh, I like this one. This one's a this one's funky. Uh, you gotta flip him if I remember. Yep, you gotta flip the shell, which uh, which hits his uh, basically his elbow, <laughs> and that stuns him, and you have to climb up his neck to hit his elbow more. Mm-hmm. Uh. The Georg pair. Now this one is a really solid boss. Um, this one is a really fucking solid boss. You gotta basically, you gotta fight it by uh, using the four or the three. The you have to clone yourself so that you can hit all the eyes at the same time. And it is a, yeah, yeah. A really he's got the he's got the little cloning pads on his back. It's the first boss to actually make use of the central gimmick of the game. Uh, of mm -hmm. being able to turn into multiple links. Which is weird that it took that long in order to t do. Well, to be fair, it doesn't really come into the game until like halfway through. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, you're not really able to be four links until damn After. near the end, so. Yeah, well, it, you can only be three links in this fight. But yeah, okay, yeah, no, I, I, it, it makes sense. Because he didn't really have enough links yeah. to be able to do it properly. Uh, Vadi. I, I like Vati. the Vadi fights. Vadi fights are very solid. I have killed Vadi so many times because of the randomizers. Do we have a? Do we have an S an S rank minish up there yet? Nope, that's gonna come later. All right, all right. But for now, let's get to uh, let's get to uh, Twilight Princess. Yes. Argorok. Very, very solid boss. Very atmospheric. Very fun. Being Spider-Man using the double claw shot. This is a really good... This is a good fi final boss at the end of a good dungeon. Always love to see that. Yeah. Because way too often there's like a really good boss at the end of a really bad dungeon or a really bad boss at the end of a really good dungeon. Mm -hmm. But this is a good boss at the end of a good dungeon. I, the city in the sky is very atmospheric. Uh, and the storm that happens, the second phase, it's 
so good. And the lore of this guy, he's just a regular Kargarok that was corrupted by the mirror. Like, he's just a regular bird dude that was turned into a dra- He's just a regular bird enemy that was turned into a dragon by the mirror. Uh, speaking of regular enemies turned into monsters by the mirror, uh, Goma! I like Goma. Ah. Gonna put Goma next to Goma. Next to Goma. This Goma cluster. It's a really fun boss. I like that you have to smash it with the, uh, the statues. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, uh, Blizzetta. Very good boss. Uh, I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it above, uh... I'm gonna put it... it next to the other characters possessed by things. The other good characters possessed by things that I've carved out over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Blizzetta is Yetta uh, corrupted by the uh, Mirror of Twilight and has one of the biggest one of the best jump scares in Twilight Princess. You know, where she... Not only that not a, well, yeah, say what you're doing. No, no, you go. No, 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 you go. No, you go. No, you. I was gonna say that uh, her head, like, she turns around and then her face, like, spins around like an action figure. Like that G.I. Joe character. Mm -hmm. Now the thing that I'm saying is... Uh... That pumpkin soup. Yeah. That pumpkin soup becomes I, the... I have... I Well, here's the thing. I made that pumpkin soup oh, in real life. Was it good? It was, it was pretty okay, but I made, like, way too much, and it was in the fridge too long, and it molded. Oh, I always hate to had, see that. It uh, it's really good with that goat, with that, like, creamy goat cheese topping oh, on it. Oh, man. I want to try that pumpkin soup. It's one of the few things that has seafood in it that I'd actually enjoy, probably. Um, uh, I, d I don't think I put fish in it. I mean, fish was the one of the things... Fish was the ingredient that he went out and harassed the Zora for. Alright, hold on. The reef fish. I need to tracking. find out which... It's a, I need to find out which pumpkin soup I made. It would be, there's a few pumpkin soups in Zelda. Yeah, it would need to be salmon. Salmon is the closest parallel to the reef fish. Uh, but yeah, Blizzetta, really solid boss, makes use of the environment. You have to use the reflection on the, the ice on the floor to... Uh, to not die. A really solid boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was it, it it was yellow soup because the yellow soup has the goat cheese. Yeah, yeah. Uh Diababa. It's a first boss. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. Diababa, a, a Deku Baba corrupted by the fuse shadow. Really solid first boss. Uh, very very mm. atmospheric. I I like bosses that like you can feel the weight of them. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, the Balrog, Pyrus, a uh, very solid A. Uh, very absurdly easy boss, but a very cool boss. This is the boss that was in all the advertising alongside uh, Armagoma. Um, so yeah, this one's basically a Balrog. So it's uh, fun. yeah. Ganon. I don't like this Ganon. I think his boss fight is way too easy. B tier. Actually, no. Fuck uh, it. It 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 falls it falls under the it falls under the 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 thing of a of a cinematic not, boss. Not a lot. Yeah, not a lot of Ganon fights, but a, 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 a you know an amount of them do end up just being. He does only fights. a quarter heart of damage. I think. What? I think either a quarter heart or a half heart. Like, look at uh, the look at the best cinematic Ganon, which was Ocarina of Time. His hits do like three hearts of damage. Yeah, his his hits will fuck you up. Yeah, but uh, the Ganondorf in uh in Twilight Princess, like, you take more damage from the birds. Uh, okay. Uh, with the pumpkin soup that I made. Uh, it was a vegetarian option. Ah, okay. Dark yeah, Beast... Yeah, vegetarian broth. Yeah. Dark Beast Ganon is a slight step up. He, he runs through portals, and you gotta... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna... Yeah, 
I'm gonna solid B tier. All right, uh, Dark Beast Ganon. You basically have to use your goat herding skills in order to beat him, which I think is pretty neat and a nice way to like a, a nice way to um, have a. Uh, uh, to put a cap on uh, on Link's uh, backstory, like his, yeah. his uh, a skill that w is usually usually not useful is very useful here. He, I I I do love the Zelda games where Link is literally just like some guy. Yeah. Uh, like Wind Waker, he's just some kid. Yeah, he doesn't even have well, the I spirit of the hero in Wind Waker. Yeah. Twilight Princess, he's just some dude from a village. Yeah. Uh, he, Morpheal. He's, he's an apprentice. No, he, he's, he, he's like a blacksmith apprentice and he herds goats. No, he's not even a blacksmith apprentice. He's just a goat herder. Uh, I'm putting Morpheal in F tier. Uh, it's a very... It's, it's a very... Meh boss. And it does... It, it, you don't even, like... You don't even kill it. It dies by ramming into the uh, the wall, and oh. all the water drains out, which doesn't make sense since you're underwater. Like, the temple is underwater. So is there, like, another chamber that's just outside the walls of these temples that the water flows into? And it's just kind of meh. Now, Puppet yeah. Zelda... Puppet Zelda's a really, really good boss. But also is like... I'm putting it uh, as... Uh, I'm putting it next to Dark Beast. Uh, okay. What is this? Ganon on a horse. I don't... I, I don't care for Ganon on a horse. Ganon on a horse? Yeah. Now for the S tier. Thou Lord. Valor. You're on a Beyblade. You're on a Beyblade fighting a giant skeleton with a big sword. Nope, he doesn't have a sword, but he does shoot lasers at, or he does shoot That's fireballs right. at you, and he That's commands right. an army of a, of the dead who serve no purpose other than to act as uh, undead shields to like uh, to basically force you to bounce off of them. And protect his spine. He's a really, really good boss. Uh, next up, Zant. Obviously, Zan. A rank. He is he he top of the A rank. He has so much personality. He is batshit insane. His boss fight is is a culmination of uh, several other boss and mini bosses, uh, and it's really cool. I, I love Xant. He's such an interesting character. And one of the uh, scrapped uh, plot lines was that he was going to be uh, Midna's brother. Um, and he. So that would give him a rightful claim to the throne. But, like, their father was like, No, you're fucking insane. You're not going to be the king. And so he kills their parents. That was one of the scrapped plot lines. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to cheat a bit. On um, I'm going to cheat a bit for the next one, Twin Rova from uh from the Oracle games. So I'm going to put it as an S tier because even though I have an uh, even though I have an Oracle of Seasons and an Oracle of Ages boss on the S tier, I'm going to put this as an S tier because. It is, it's considering both games as a single adventure. So I am going to cheat a bit to put Twin Rova up here because she is very fun. She's a lot more interesting than her uh, Twilight Princess, or not Twilight Princess, than her uh, Ocarina, of Time. Ocarina of Time. And I'm going to put her next to, between Goat and uh, Maz Kosha. Because all right, all right. her the way it works is her fight is very dynamic. Um, you got to like the the environment, the uh, the battle place uh, changes depending on which element she's using, and you basically have to pick up the 
uh, pieces from one element, use a mystery seed to force her to change, and then throw that at her. So, like, pick up ice when the the room is frozen, then uh, force her to change, and and then use the uh, then throw the ice at her when she's in her fire form. Like, it's it's a very interesting uh, fight. Uh, Ganon from Wind Waker. Uh, I am going to put you in S. We don't have a Wind Waker S rank yet. Yep, there uh, we go. Ganon has a lot of personality in Wind Waker. He is a very complex character, which is a huge upgrade from his Ocarina of Time uh, appearance. And so I'm putting him above Gramps. And that is purely for the climax. Uh, so, uh, with that out of the way, Helmarok King, uh, yeah, put you at A rank right here. Purely for the, uh, for the, purely for the revenge aspect. When you finally killed the asshole that kidnapped your sister, tossed you in the ocean, like, it feels really good. He's, he's a yeah. pretty easy boss fight. But it's about, like, what it means to you, the player. This is the yeah, guy yeah. that caused everything. Jalhalla. Really fun boss fight. Uh, it makes use of the items that you get in the Earth Temple. And uh, it's overall a really fun boss fight. Especially if you have the hurricane spin. Um, next up... Uh, Kaladamos, you fought. Where would you put this one? It's the forest boss. Um, I would put it either as a low B or a high C. Right, I'll put it at high C. It's you had a lot of trouble with it. Yeah, I'll put it at low B because of the secret way to kill it. Yeah, it, it's it's incredibly cheesable if you know the cheese. Yeah. Now, but uh... I didn't want to do that because I didn't feel like walking... I didn't feel like running all the way to the other... Back to the fucking place and then going back yeah. to the boss. Now, Vadi. Vadi is the Minish Cap S rank for obvious reasons. Vadi is a very, very good villain. And it's why I haven't put a Vadi... It's why I haven't put a Vadi up in S rank yet, is because I was saving it for uh, Minish Cap. His characterization in Minish Cap is so interesting. He's so smarmy. I love him. And he wins. He succeeds. Uh, he does remove the Light Force from Zelda. And I don't think she ever gets it back. So, Varen from... Uh, Varen, I'm, I'm going to put it right next to Possessed Varen, because uh, it, Varen's a really good villain. She is a huge, huge step up from Onox, because hey, she, is, she is always present. Like, you can feel her, the, you can feel how, uh, how much of an antagonist she is. Uh, she's an absolute bitch, and she knows it, and she rocks it. Uh, she yeah, yeah. she's a really good villain. And finally, uh, Trinex. Um, from uh, Link to the Past, the Turtle oh, Rock, okay. the boss of Turtle Rock. Ah, uh, you put okay, it at an okay. A rank. I think it's a good enough. Uh, I, I think it's a good enough boss uh for uh I, I think it's a good enough boss for the uh, penultimate dungeon so uh that is it that is my rankings yep uh let me just that's your rankings with mild influence from me yeah all right so let's see if i can get all of them in all right all right yeah, it's gonna be cutting off the never played, but who cares? Uh, now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna download it. Uh, where, how do I download?
Uh, save or download. I'm gonna download it and download. You can download. Hold on, I think it says login. Well, to save to the profile. I'm just trying to download it. Okay, fucking hell. Okay, then I guess I won't download it. So starting from the, starting from the, uh, uh, from the top, we got uh, uh, as the best of the S. I'm just gonna go through the best of the best. Best of the S rank, Wind Waker Ganon. He's fantastic. Like he has a lot of personality to him. Best of the A rank, Zant. Another really good villain. Um, best of the B rank, Majora. Just Majora. Yeah, Majora, the villain. And best of the C. He's fun. He's childlike. Both C and D. Uh, the best of the best is Argus. Who doesn't love a good uh, eyeball jellyfish? Yeah. And the best of the worst is Mulgurm, specifically for the music. And the worst of the worst is goddamn Manhandla. Fuck I, Manhandla. I hate Manhandla so much. I just hate Manhandla. Such a stupid boss. I'm sorry, Shigeru Miyamoto, but Manhandla is a bad boss. All right. Sorry. Sorry, Shigeru. So, so your your character bad. Yeah. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, definitely check out some of the other stuff on the uh, channel, such as Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which this is a substitution for because Scraps is, you know, unavailable at the moment. Um, I, think, I think he said he's going camping. Yeah, he he is currently camping. Um. There's also Wind Waker, which Biddy is playing. Yeah. Uh, there is um, Pokemon Platinum, which Scraps plays. Um, and there is KO the Kangaroo, which also Scraps is playing. There's also two D&D campaigns. Uh, one of which is Curse of Strahd, which uh, both Biddy and I play in. And the other is a homebrew that I am running uh, that I've created called... World of Tapir. Um, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, so, comment challenge of the day. Who would you put at the best of the S rank, and who would you put at the the worst of the F rank? Yeah. All right. So, uh, with that out of the way, there's nothing left to say. But good night, everybody. Bye.